So I often like to use some image, uh, whether it's a story from my own life or um, a scene from a movie or something I've read. I always like to find this kind of vehicle of kind of uh, communicating one of the truths of the Gospels or the readings. And so as I was kind of preparing for um, with, with the readings for today, uh, there was just this one scene that kept coming back to me. Um, but it was a scene from a Christmas story. And it, Christmas is so far off, so I was like, maybe I should come up with some other story. You know, I don't want to confuse. Like, Christmas is far away. Uh, but then I showed up at Costco, and Christmas trees are out, so I feel like it's perfectly appropriate, you know, to share uh, kind of this one scene in order to kind of help kind of capture a part of the gospel. So there's this one scene, and it's just basically after um, uh, one of the main characters, which is Ralphie. It's basically a story about him and his uh, preparations for Christmas. Uh, and uh, the scene that I'm thinking about in particular is right after he's trying to help his dad fix, um, you know, they have a blown out tire, and he's trying to help him fix it, and he ends up uh, swearing. And so when they get back home, his mom punishes him and puts a bar of soap in his mouth as punishment, you know, to kind of clean out his bad language. And then there's kind of like this imaginary scene that uh, Ralphie envisions where he comes, you know, uh, to his home, um, you know, just as a blind man, like as a blind little kid, you know, he's not able to see. And his parents are like, you know, what's, what's wrong, Ralphie? You know, what happened? Why, why are you blind? And uh, then he just drops the line, soap poisoning, you know. <laughs> And so uh, what it captures is, as, as children, you know, um, when we find that we're injured or offended, uh, there's something within us that likes to kind of dwell upon that injury. And, you know, sometimes our imagination uh, can really get away from us, and we kind of imagine all these uh, scenarios of how that injury is righted. You know, we imagine um, those who have offended us give, getting their just desserts. And so I think it's something very natural in us to stew uh, on injury. And it's not just something we do as kids, but it's something that continues into our adult, you know, into our adulthoods, so, you know, where we're injured, where we just find ourselves kind of contemplating and seeing, you know, we, us, us getting adjusted and the offender, you know, receiving their harm and uh, getting, you know, what, what is right and what is owed to them. Um, but Jesus calls us to something greater, when it comes to us uh, receiving injury. And uh, St. Augustine kind of helps capture what that is. Uh, St. Augustine writes, whoever has offended you in offending you has inflicted a serious, a serious injury upon himself. And would you not care for a brother's injury? You must forget the offense you have received, but must take care of the injury of the one of your brethren. And so, um, Kind of when we hear about this uh, in the gospel, uh, there's actually uh, there's something put upon the one who's injured to go to his brother. And this is kind of the love that Christ is calling us to, is to kind of get out of ourselves uh, and to be cognizant that, you know, uh, that there's others injured around us and that uh, those who have injured us, in fact, have, have, have injured themselves in doing so. And so the first way of kind of bringing reparation to that situation is to go to this person uh, in, in private. And there's some great wisdom in this too, because uh, if you've ever been called out in a public situation, uh, do you ever receive that well? No, you know, you get entrenched, uh, your pride is affected, and you know, you're just, you're not ready to receive anything. And so there's this great wisdom in that uh, when we find ourselves offended, the first course of action, and it's not always easy, is actually, you know, it takes courage, is going to that individual who has caused the offense and, uh, giving what's called a fraternal correction, you know, um, uh, giving redress for the situation. And, and also, St. Augustine tells us, we have to forgive that individual too. And so, um, yeah, I think this is often where we so much fail, is just starting on the easiest level of, you know, when we find ourselves injured, uh, we can dwell too much in it instead of reaching out to that other and trying to bring reconciliation. Um, you know, us as a country, as families, we're not so much divided because we have different views, uh, but because we fail to love, because we fail to see our neighbor as our brother, because we stew in our own injuries, because instead of, um, you know, trying to make a fraternal correction in private, uh, we often just blow it up, take it up the ladder, and just entrench everyone and, and prevent any healing from coming about. Love is not dwelling on our injuries, but by being solicitous 
of the other's injury. Love like Jesus and will always be one in him.